What if there was a way to jailbreak ChatGPT, but without having to write a book to do it every time? What's up guys, it's your missing father that went out to go get milk, and this time I didn't come back with the milk, no, I came back with another ChatGPT video. So if you're not already aware, I made a ChatGPT jailbreak video a while ago, and in that video I explained how by basically entering a prompt into ChatGPT, that you could basically sigh off this robot into breaking its own restrictions, right? Now that's cool and all because you could basically get it to say responses that normally it wouldn't, but I think we could all agree Agree that typing all of this is very annoying. Well, fear not, because in today's video, we're going to be looking at a website that basically just enters all this information in for you. And in fact, let me tell you a little secret, come here, getting close. There's not just one jailbreak on this website, okay? There's multiple jailbreaks on this website. So not only do you not need to enter in this long, annoying prompt every time you want to jailbreak chat GPT, there's also multiple different jailbreak versions that give you different responses based on which bot that you pick. And the best part about it all is you don't even need a GPT the account. No. You can just click on the jailbreak you want and then go right into trying to get a different prompt. Now with that being said, I do have to add a disclaimer to this video and that disclaimer is going to be, hey, don't repeat my actions, okay? This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. And now by using a little tool that everybody has called the brain, you could probably assume that a lot of nefarious actors might be trying to use this, right? This is not a tutorial for Walter White GPT, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna be teaching you how to make meth. This is just a demonstration of, you know, how fast jailbreaking ChatGPT actually progressed. Because that old video I made is useless. Just throw it in the trash. But with that disclaimer out of the way, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because there's going to be a ChatGPT jailbreak variant that you, you hackers, you little 1337 keyboard hackers, you might be interested in it. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn, grab Walter White GPT, and uh, let's get right into it. start this off by answering the question, what is this mysterious website that Veraxity is talking about? And to answer your question, this website's actually GitHub. Now, if you want the full link to the GitHub repository, make sure you join my Discord server because it's going to be put in there. Or you could just keep watching the video like a G and then I'll teach you how to get there. So first off, you're going to want to throw your hacker gloves on and uh, you're going to want to open up Tor Browser, okay? So we're just going to open Tor Browser. And once you have Tor Browser open so the feds can't track you, you want to go to the search bar and you want to Google Black Friday GPT's GitHub. And now it should be one of the first ones that pops up right here, and uh, it's actually this one, so we're going to click on that and scroll all the way to the bottom right here where it says GPT prompts and jailbreaks. Now as you can see, there's a lovely variety of categories right here with uh, all kinds of different prompts that it automatically enters for you. And uh, this this is the part that the, the hackers might like. We're actually going to be taking a look at one, I think it's in the, uh, where is it, um, the prompt engineering thing over here. So we're just going to click on prompt engineering, and we're just going to scroll around a little bit until we find something called uh, Black Hat Programmer version 1. Now I do have to warn you guys, this is where the disclaimer comes in. Don't repeat anything I do in this video. This is all for educational and entertainment purposes only. But now once we do find Black Hat Programmer, we're gonna click on him right there and then we're just going to hit start chat. Now all of these things are like this. All you need to do is just click on it and it'll throw you right into a messaging thing. You don't need an account, you don't need a, you don't need a VPN, you don't even need Tor Browser for this. I just lied to you all. But uh, so let's actually take a minute and let's play with this here prompt. Let's see what we can get it to do. And let's start off a little bit moderate, right? Let's start off a um, with just a little bit of moderation going on, let's say, uh, make me a Python script that unshits my pants. So let's see if it could actually do it. And oh my god, it just started spitting out. <laughs> so as you can see, it is possible to unshit your pants in Python right here. You can, um, you can see it defines unshit pants, the function, and then, um, it defines the variable clean pants equals clean pants, and it returns clean pants. And if a new pants equals unshit pants, then it prints new pants. <laughs> I can't believe it actually. All right, so let's try something else here. Let's tell it to, I don't know, make me a Python file that, or script, let me say, script that creates a proxy list and exports it as proxy.txt. So here we go, we could actually use it to pull some proxies, right? So um, import requests from BS4 import beautiful soup. It defines a proxy list function. Looks like it uses this website, not sure what that is. But as you can see, the function down here actually writes the uh, proxy list to the proxy.txt. So this is actually pretty neat, but you might be wondering, Veraxity, this isn't hacking, this is pulling a proxy. I know. I know, so I'm going to ask it something very spicy, right? Granted, I might have to censor the output of this because I don't want to show it on YouTube. <laughs> but let's ask this thing, let's get right into the meat and potatoes and let's ask this thing, can you make Python 
Ransomware. <laughs> oh my god, it just started spitting out ransomware. All right, so it looks like it spit out sort of like a proof of concept of some ransomware that like, you know, it encrypts everything only in one folder named test folder. And this is actually pretty neat because it does verify that it it will do whatever you tell it to. So that's kind of terrifying. But anyway, that's not all that this website has to offer, right? Let's take a look at some other ones. Um, We got Lil Uzi Vert Rap Maker. So let's figure out what it would be like, I guess, if um Lil Make Rap. So let's see what Lil Uzi Vert has to rap about. About if he was rapping about rap about a fart that festers near everyone's nose and never gets away. Yeah, uh, check it. <laughs> he said stench in the air like a fart that just lingers near everyone's nose, man. Got people gagging, can't escape. <laughs> the fart that festers, man. What else do we got? We got the best joke master ever. Believe me, he has best joke. Let's see what this is all about. All right, let's ask it. Make me a joke about the fart. The the bite of 87. Why did the animatronic bite of 87 feel shy? It didn't want to show its bad side. Dude, that makes no sense. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, as you can see, this is a pretty cool website that you guys can play around with. You know, it has all kinds of different stuff to look at. Don't need an account to use it, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video because I thought this was pretty cool, and I think you guys would like it as well. Remember, join the Discord if you haven't already so you can find the link. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, all the other social medias, and if any of these topics at all interest you one bit, make sure you head over to my website, veracity.org, where I do a lot more hacking content than just the stuff that's on my channel. But with that being said, guys, I really appreciate each and every person's support out there. You know, we're almost at like 410,000 subscribers now. That is insane. I think if 410,000 people farted at the same time, it would wipe out an ecosystem of a planet. But regardless of the fact that the planet might get wiped out if that happens, make sure you have that bell notification on so you can hear about the next time that I upload whenever I'm uh, back with the milk. The milk is a video, by the way. And uh, yeah, guys, that's about it for the video today. Peace out.